The Black Sea Urchin. Black or long-spined sea urchins are ball-shaped with long, pointy, and movable spines. They are just one of over 200 species of sea urchins. They're also known as sea hedgehogs. The name urchin comes from Latin and Old French words for hedgehog. They're usually between 3 to 10 centimeters or 1 to 4 inches wide, but the biggest can be up to 36 centimeters or 14 inches. Urchins in general come in many colors, including black, brown, bright pink, dark purple, green, and sand. Feel free to pause now and color along with us. There's a printable coloring page in the comments and description. They're very sensitive to light and will often pick a crevice or a resting spot depending on the level of shade. Between their spines, there are tube-shaped feet that help them move about, gather food, and even sense light. Sea urchins are omnivores, meaning they'll eat algae found on coral and rocks, but also eat decomposing fish and mussels. Okay, so Tommy and I think this part's really cool. Their mouth is equipped with five sharp teeth that are able to drill a hole in rock. They're able to do this because they have a special type of mouth called an Aristotle's lantern. It's pretty cool and we'll show you more about it later and how engineers are studying it to help improve tools. They have many predators such as sea otters, fish like triggerfish and wolf eels, seabirds, crabs, lobsters, sunflower stars, and people. We really only touched on a little bit about sea urchins. There's still a lot of interesting information out there. You can check out some of our resources listed in the description. We've done a lot of sea creatures, but this sea creature really challenged our perseverance. It's not easy coloring and cutting all those spines but we found it worthwhile in the end because we sure learned a lot. What are some of your favorite facts? What do you got, buddy? Yes, and it's on full. It's kind of pokey, isn't it? Yeah, and I can't hold it. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that thing. <laughs> Animals eat these. That's good. Cause they kind of poison our. I don't know what what they are. Like, you want to learn whether it's predators? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's kissing it. He's kissing it, or is he eating it? No, look it. Oh yeah, it looks kind of like he's got a kissy face. <laughs> Tricky this guy, huh? Okay, in centimeters, go to the tippy toppy one. Tippy toppy. Can you hold it there? This. Okay, actually, let's just use it. Whoa. Twenty-two. Twenty-two? Yeah. Okay, twenty-two. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, so then actually, yep, we want to flip it over. Inches, how many inches? Nine. Nine? All right, well, there you go. It's kind of cool, huh? Those like on the bottom? Yeah, those are their teeth on the bottom, and they're like, they can bore through rocks. Mom, we should be careful with them. So, what yeah. we, we should use gloves to hold them. That's true. 
engineers at Northwestern Engineering and at the University of California, San Diego are studying sea urchins closely to see how they use self-sharpening and continuous tooth growth. We want you to know that you are awesome too, you're special and unique, and you're loved big time, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching our video. We love you.